Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from TrainSignal. The following video clip is from TrainSignal's VMware ESX course featuring over 17 hours of VMware training. Okay, in this topic we're going to talk about cloning virtual machines. So what is cloning and why would you want to clone a virtual machine? Well, cloning a virtual machine is simply creating a duplicate copy so that another virtual machine can be quickly and easily created. So this is very similar to creating a template. But what a template does is it really secures that virtual machine from being modified. It secures it from being powered on, and it keeps that golden copy secure, kind of like putting it in a vault. Well, you can clone any virtual machine you want inside VMware ESX server. You don't have to use a template if you don't want to. So why would you want to clone a virtual machine? Well, like we said with templates, you can very quickly create a new virtual machine. Yes, it might take some time to create the new virtual machine through the cloning process or template process, but still, those are a couple hours you could go off and do something else. It prevents you from having to rebuild the entire operating system. It makes it very easy to create a server farm. What if I installed one Windows 2008 server and I was able to clone that server 10 times and create 10 new virtual guest operating systems from that one virtual template or from that one clone system. It's also very easy to create test servers. Let's say that you have a Windows SharePoint server, for example, and you want to upgrade from Windows SharePoint services version 2 to version 3. Well, what better way to test that than to clone that virtual machine, put it on a private network, or disconnect the network adapter, perform the upgrade, and then do some local testing and see what the upgrade results are before you do the upgrade on the production system. And of course, before you do the upgrade on the production system, you're going to take a snapshot and save that in your snapshot manager in case something still goes wrong. So there's a number of different types of cloning. When people talk about cloning, they could be talking about different things. So you really need to try to clarify that. So the first one would just be, to me, internal ESX cloning. And this is a feature inside the virtual infrastructure client. You just select a server and you say that you want to clone it. You answer a few questions and then your clone is created. It's not hard to do at all. And when you're talking about VMware ESX and cloning systems, that's the type of cloning that people are usually talking about. However, if people don't have ESX in mind and they're just talking about cloning systems, they might be talking about doing a V to V conversion. That's a virtual to virtual conversion. So that could be from, say, VMware ESX server to VMware server or VMware server to VMware ESX. That could be from Microsoft Virtual Server to VMware ESX server or Windows Server Virtualization to ESX and so on. So that's a V to V. Then there's a P to V conversion. So P to V would just be from a physical server or a physical PC to a virtual server. And keep in mind that cloning is different than migrating. Migrating is just moving a virtual machine from one host to another host. Cloning is copying the virtual machine on the same host or to another host. And with that, let's go down to our virtual infrastructure client and let's see how this cloning process works. Okay, let's go back to our host and clusters inventory view. And here I have a Windows Vista machine number two and this is not a template, you can tell by the icon and also by the options that are over here. Now the option that's right above convert to template is clone to new virtual machine. And so this is how you would clone a virtual machine. If I just click on clone to new virtual machine, it's going to take a clone of this Windows Vista number two virtual machine and let's call it Vista three. I have to choose this data center that the ESX server is in and I'll say next. And then I get to choose where I want to clone the virtual machine to. So I'm going to create an entire separate, fully functioning copy of this virtual machine. And I can put it on whatever ESX server I want to in the data center. I'll just choose ESX server number three, and I'll say next. Then it asks me where I want to clone it to. Well, right now I know this Windows Vista machine is on storage one, which is a local data store on ESX server number three. Since it's already there, it's not over on the SAN, and let's just leave it on that data store because it will eliminate the time it would take to move it to the iSCSI SAN data store. So I'll say next. 
Uh, we don't have any options to customize Windows Vista. I'll say next. And this is just our final confirmation screen. So at this point, all I have to do is say finish. And it immediately starts creating a clone from Windows Vista number two. It creates a copy of it. It's, call it's calling it Windows Vista number three. Now, even though this is on the local machine on the same data store, this could still take a little while because we're talking about a multi-gigabyte virtual disk. And because of that, I'm going to pause the video right here, and I'll come back as soon as this is done. Okay, we're back, and our clone of our virtual machine has completed. If we go over here to the server, and then we click on Task and Events, we can check on the status of the clone process and see exactly how long it took. I know it took a little while, but it didn't take too awfully long. Okay, so here we go. The very first task on the top is clone virtual machine. The target was Vista number two from Vista. If we scroll over here, we can see that it started at 9.06 p.m. and it ended at 9.16. So it only took about 10 minutes to create a brand new virtual machine and that's because all of it stayed right on the same ESX server. It didn't have to traverse my Ethernet network or the Wired Brain Coffee Company's Ethernet network to do that copy. So some excellent performance there in that case. And we were able to create a brand new Vista virtual machine in only 10 minutes. That's some very cool stuff. Let's click on this virtual machine. Okay, so there we have our source machine, our Windows Vista number two machine. And here we have our Windows Vista th number three machine, an identical machine that was cloned in only 10 minutes without having to reinstall the operating system. So that's an excellent time saver there for any Windows admin to be able to create a brand new PC or server in about 10 minutes.